Hey y'all, it's Brady. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today's video, I'm going to share with you my grocery haul real quick. You're going to hear the kids in the background. It's loud. <laughs> but um, I got another two-week grocery haul, so I'm going to show you both parts of that. And then, um, yeah, that's kind of it. We're just staying at home, cooking lots of food, hanging out, and going with it. So if you are new here, we are a family of four. There is my almost six-year-old, a two-and-a-half-year-old, my husband, myself. We have a crazy dog. And, uh, yeah, that's what's going on here. Spent right at around $2.85 for two weeks. We still have lots of meat in the freezer. Well, not lots, but enough meat in the freezer. So I didn't really have to buy much of that this week. Um, and this should be enough to last us two full weeks. All right, here is the Kroger portion of the haul. I ran in for a few specific things and then of course got a few other things. Um, what you don't see here is a couple of E-A-S-T-E-R treats and um, a case of water. So uh, let's just hop right into it. I actually thought that by the looking at the sides of them that they were Paw Patrol, but they're not. So otherwise I would not have paid $5 for them, but I did, there you go. So we grabbed the 12 pack of Danimal smoothies for the six strawberry explosion and six wild watermelon. They did have eggs and they did have milk, but they had a limit on them this time. So you could only get one of each. So I just grabbed one 18 count of eggs. I think this was $1.29 and I had a 40 cent off coupon. And then I got four new loofahs for the shower time to replace those and I, these are my favorite from Kroger one because they have four of the same colors that we get every time so everybody knows who's is who and they also have the suction cups on them to fit in the shower um because yeah so there's those four they were a dollar a piece all right and then I grabbed a Kroger self-rising crust pizza the pepperoni for $2.79 this Irish breakfast tea was part of the mega event and they have changed it now and I'm so happy. They changed it to where if you just buy five or more items, you get the dollar off each item. So you don't have to count in multiples of five and worry that when you get to check out, you don't have enough items and blah, blah, blah. So that made it a lot simpler for me. Um, so this uh, Twinings, I guess, or I don't know how you say that. Um, Irish breakfast tea. There's 20 tea bags in here. This was $2.29 as part of the mega event. And then I did have a dollar off e-coupon. So it was $1.29 for a box of tea. I thought that would be good with some honey. $1.25 for a box of their Kroger Deluxe Mac and Cheese Shells and Cheddar. 99 cents as part of the mega event for a three pack of the movie theater butter pop secret popcorn. And that is for movie night. And then, of course, we'll have some left for snacking. Uh, these killed me. They're three seventy nine, dollars but my two-and-a-half-year-old loves these. And uh, they actually have, I think, if I remember correctly, they have quite a bit of protein in them. I could be totally wrong on that. Uh, five grams of protein, so for her, not too bad. Um, so it's three seventy nine dollars for five bars, but I thought that would be good for her. 99 cents for these veggie goldfish with sweet carrots. Um, they really, really enjoyed those and thought it was really cool that they were carrot shaped. So that was cool. I don't know, you know, if that's really true that there's a third of serving of carrots in each serving, but if it is, even better. Those were 99 cents as part of the mega event. Then these are 329 as part of the mega event. The Kroger 100% Colombian coffee, the medium dark roast, 12 packs. I've got two of those, two things of Pop-Tarts as a treat. Uh, these were $1.49 a piece as part of the mega event. I grabbed one brown sugar and cinnamon and one strawberry milkshake. A dollar for a package of the Kroger pretzel sticks. We are going to make a uh, Chex Mix and I've got everything else to make that, just not the pretzel sticks. Um, I grabbed four bags of the Simple Truth Organic White Cheddar Baked Puffs because I was on the hunt for these to stock up the pantry and our extended pantry. Um, because normally these were like three or $4 a bag. And so at 99 cents a piece is part of the mega event, four of them that'll last us a long time. I'll put one in the pantry that they can access and then we'll keep the rest stashed away. 
So those will last us quite a bit. Then the Easter stuff was 50% off. So I got two of the big packages of plates and one small plates and two little napkins. Most likely it'll just be Easter at home. Uh, just primarily the four of us, but um, I thought it'd make it a little more fun since we're not gonna be able to do our big family gatherings we normally do. And so it made it like $5 for all five of those things together. And then $2.29 for some shredded Parmesan cheese, the Kroger brand. Um, I want that for salads. $2.79 for a pound of strawberries. They look pretty good this week. A dollar for an English cucumber. A dollar forty-nine for a head of iceberg lettuce. And this I also had a 50 cent off e-coupon for. I also had 50 cent off e-coupon for the seedless red grapes. So they were $2.49 a pound, which is not spectacular, but the girls are really loving grapes right now. And so I had that coup that e-coupon, so I just went ahead and used it. Um, these were originally the specific cod, these small 12 ounce packages, were normally either $4.99 or $5.99, and then they had a sign that they were 25% off. So I don't know exactly what I paid. I think I paid around $9 for both bags, uh, maybe a little less. Um, but we're going to do fried fish one night. So I wanted to pick up some cod. I wanted catfish, but they didn't have any. So we went with cod. Then I, this was a dollar for the one pound bag of baby carrots. So I picked up another package of those. $2.49 for four baking potatoes, which was kind of outrageous, but I wanted some bigger potatoes for baked potatoes. And a dollar for the Kroger white bread. The... Heritage Farms chicken breast. I'm gonna make homemade fried chicken. Um, the night, I, most of us don't like fish. So I'm gonna do, when I do the fish fry, I'm also gonna fry some chicken tenders um, that I bred myself. And so it was $9.15 total for 4.60 pounds at $1.99 a pound. Like I said, they had a limit of one on the milk. So I just got one gallon of whole milk and I'm gonna order the other groceries from probably Target. So hopefully they'll have some more milk. And um, yeah, that was $2.39. Uh, $2.99 for the Milo's tea, sweet tea gallons. I grabbed three of those um, because keep in mind, this is a two week haul. So I'm trying not to go back out once we get everything here. A dollar for a package of, ham of hot dogs. Um, they did not have the beef hot dogs that I wanted. So these will do. Uh, three Mio's in the sweet tea flavor for my husband. Those were $3.50 each. $1.99 for a Campbell's Chunky Chicken Noodle and a Campbell's Chunky Sirloin Burger. I just wanted to throw a couple of soups in the pantry. And then $0.99 cents as part of the mega event for the Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Barbecue Sauce. $0.99 cents for the Zesty Italian. I did not realize I got fat free, but oh well. We mainly use that for marinades, so it'll be okay. Uh, that was 99 cents as part of the mega event for the Kraft Zesty Italian. And then this was $1.79, I believe, for the Mrs. Butterworth syrup. Um, Y'all know if you've watched my hauls before that I, pref I prefer to buy real maple syrup, but it is outrageous to buy that from the regular grocery store, um, even from Aldi. So I always buy it at Sam's in the big jug that lasts us several months, um, like half the year, <laughs> but... Um, yeah, I wasn't going to pay like $10 for something this big at Kroger. So next time we go to Sam's, we'll get our real maple syrup. But there we go for now, Mrs. Butterworth. And then two Arizona green tea. Those are 77 cents a piece. Three unsweetened almond milk in the chocolate flavor. Two unsweetened in the vanilla flavor. Those were $1.99 a part of, as part of the mega event. I grabbed some grenadine syrup. That was, I think, $2.99. I actually want to make, like, the cherry Sprite, the Shirley Temples. So I got a Sprite as well, and then a 2-liter of Mountain Dew and a 2-liter of Cherry Pepsi. I wanted to do the cans because I like the single servings, but they weren't on sale. So those were three for five for the 2 liters. so I just picked up those. So that is everything from Kroger. And yeah, I'll show you the next haul next. Okay, so here is the target order that I placed. Uh, I tried to place it last night, but that didn't work out. Um, and so I did place it again today. 
and was able to get my order. So this is Target delivered by Shipped. So if you've never tried Shipped and you're like, I don't want to get out in the stores right now, um, you can definitely try that. And so I'll link that down below for you. In our area, they deliver for Target, Petco, CVS, and who else? Oh, Publix and Kroger. And then um, I know in some areas they are also delivering for Costco if you have that in your area. So check that out. So yeah, so I've got a $50 off your yearly membership, which makes it only $49 for the year. And then there's no delivery fees or anything like that. Um, each time you place as many orders as you want. So I will link that code down below for you. And then um, I am also going to do a Walmart pickup order. There were a few things that I needed that Target did not have. And I, although I wasn't able to do a full tar uh, Walmart order, which I would have done, um, there, it was just not, they were out of stock of so many things and their website was glitching. So it wasn't letting me add most of the items I needed. So what I did is I just placed this grocery order. Some things were out of stock on this as well. But the Walmart order, if you've never done Walmart grocery pickup or delivery, I can leave that link down below for you too. And if you use Ibotta or you know about Ibotta, that link is down below because you can use it on shipped and Walmart grocery pickup as well. Um, it's just an amount off of your total. So uh, let's just jump right into it and I'll show you everything that I picked up or well, that I ordered because I didn't go to the store. Um, I grabbed or I had, I ordered a pint of blueberries. Those were $2.99. This was $2.99 as well, the green leaf single cut lettuce. Um, but that was pretty much my only choice for lettuce there, so that's what I got. And then four green bell peppers. They're kind of small, but they're in really good condition, so those should be good. And then cilantro. The peppers, I think, were 72 cents or 69 cents a piece. And then it was 89 cents for the cilantro. And this is a pretty large bunch of cilantro. Four green bananas. Um, the girls pretty much really only like them when they're really green, so I was glad that she was able to find them in, you know, that condition for us so they'll last. And I think they were 29 cents a banana. Target does buy the banana. And then I also ordered hamburger and hot dog buns. I think these were $1.39 a piece. Um, you saw in my Kroger haul that I picked up hot dogs, uh, but I forgot to get buns. And then hamburger buns, we're either going to do hamburgers or um, I'm going to do some pulled barbecue chicken meat in the crock pot and we'll make barbecue chicken sandwiches out of that. And then $2.99 a loaf for the Pepperidge Farm Swirl Cinnamon Bread. I wanted, actually wanted four because this is going to last us quite a while for this haul. And I was just going to stash them in the freezer. But... They only had two, but I was thankful for that because everywhere else has been sold out. So I was like, yes, just grab two. That'll be perfect. Um, $1.99 for an 18 count of eggs since the limit was one yes, uh, day before yesterday or yesterday, whatever day it is now. At Kroger, I just picked up another 18 count from Target and that'll get us through this two weeks. And then this was a dollar, the mini Whopper eggs. That's my treat. And then these were 99 cents a box, the M&Ms. I just grabbed those two and I'm going to put them. We have like an M&M dispenser thing as like a potty training reward. So pick those up to pour into that. And then I think this is $1.39 for the three pack of Ferrero Rocher as a treat for my husband. And then I needed some more of the kids spoons and you can't just buy the flatware, just the spoons and forks. So we got the whole set, but I'm only going to wash and put in the forks and spoons. That was $2.99. Uh, $0.89 cents for the two-pack of smudge-free erasers with all this homeschool we are doing. We needed some more erasers. And then $0.59 cents for the ones that go on the pencil. Two more of the girls' plates, $0.59. Cents. I'm working on actually getting rid of some of the smaller divided plates. So I wanted to pick up two more of those. And then $3.99 for some copy paper. This turkey breast is much larger than I thought it was. Um, yeah, so we're going to have turkey for a while. Um, vanilla bean ice cream was $2.50. I wanted, I ordered the spicy chicken patties from Tyson, but they only had the, the original. So we just picked up the original and that'll be fine. We're going to do that for either lunches or dinner one night. 
you'll see kind of a theme of that. I have some easy stuff here because although I am cooking a lot, um, it's just better to have some easy things on hand and not, you know, order delivery or something like that. $1.39 a piece. I picked up four Lunchables, two chicken dunks, and two bologna and American cheese. And two of these toaster scramblers or scrambles with sausage. Those are $2.59 a box. Easy breakfast, just something to keep on hand. And then garlic Texas toast. I wanted like the loaf of the market pantry garlic bread that we got last time that I ordered from them. However, they did not have that one. So I think this was $1.39 and that'll work just fine. We're gonna do either spaghetti or lasagna one night. And then I also picked up the family size or I ordered a family size orange chicken meal. And then we've got rice and stir fry veggies and stuff like that to go with it. $4.99 for, I think that's literally a gallon of vegetable oil, but I told you in the Kroger video or Kroger haul that we we're gonna do like a chicken and fish fry. And so I definitely need some more oil. And then I grabbed, or I ordered a Classico pizza sauce. I think that one was $1.89. It's the only one that they had available, so I took it. Um, the baking cooking spray, I think I ordered just the a regular market pantry canola spray, but this was the one that they had, so I needed it primarily for making cakes. So that'll be good to have on hand. $1.99 for the market pantry mayo as a backup. $1.39 or $1.49 for the sliced pepperoncinis. I think we're gonna do, um, that's what this au jus packet is for. I think we're gonna do the Mississippi chicken one night and try that. Nesquik to make chocolate milk was $1.89 or $1.79. No, I don't remember. Less than $2. $1.39 for chocolate fudge icing. And then coarse black pepper. Trying to think of how much that was. I think it was $1.99. And then $2.99 a piece for two gallons of whole milk. Salted caramel brownie mix was $1.89. cents for the super moist triple chocolate fudge cake mix. $1.25 for the super moist strawberry cake mix. $3, and this killed me because this is a small bag in my opinion, but it's for a recipe we're gonna try out, believe it or not. So the Flaming Hot Crunchy Cheetos. 319 for some more of these uh, peanut butter wafer bars. They were a little cheaper than they were at Kroger, so I thought since it's gonna be two weeks, we'll grab that and have that on hand. And then this was $1.19 for the au jus gravy packet. And I think we're done, that is it. So there were uh, quite a few substitutions and things out of stock, but overall we got what we needed. And so I'm very happy that I didn't have to get out and go to the store for it. So thank y'all so much for watching. If you would like to see any other grocery haul videos, those will be linked uh, here at the end for you. And leave me a comment down below and let me know how you're doing. I love to talk to y'all in the comments and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.